Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to make a cab privacy curtain. Now in the last video I did show you my external windscreen cover but I want something a bit quicker that I can put up from the inside um, so I can kind of have a bit of a stealth camp every now and then. Uh, originally I was going to use this curtain rail which I found in the attic but I've decided that I don't want a permanent curtain set up there so that's out of the window. So the, the curtain I'm going to use, I've had this curtain kicking around for about 15 or 20 years, only that long. And um, it's an old IKEA curtain, it's one half of a, uh, a standard kind of bedroom curtain. Um, got these tabs on it so it was a, a pole curtain. I'm not going to use, like I say, a curtain rail so I've decided to put it up with these snap fasteners. And these are really good, I bought this kit off Amazon, it's got everything you need in there. And these ones actually come with screws on the uh, on the stud part, so I can screw them directly into my woodwork. So originally I thought I'd put it up on this side, um, but I think that little uh, beam there is a little bit too uh, thin. But this one looks good, and it means I can put it up from inside the van. This is me just having a little measure up. I've got it wrong way around. Completely pointless. So I'm going to do it all inside the bongo, practically anyway. So make a little bench there, make a little work surface. And the uh, first thing I've got to get rid of is those tabs. I've got to move some of the wiring out of the way for the solar panel because that's where one of the studs is going to go. As you'll see I want it tucked in right on the edge there. First thing to do is to find the centre of that end piece and put my first stud in. i just got to find the centre of the curtain so folding it and I point at it, that's actually where it is, the centre. So this is what you get in this little kit. Um, I'll probably put a link in down below to what I got. Now you get two of these sticky things. This is just technical stuff. That's actually for making a hole and yeah that's a bit useless that. This basically doesn't work but I've got a tip. I, I find a new way of doing this halfway through the project so you're supposed to just hammer it through. Um, obviously I put a bit of wood behind it um, to save damaging anything but it just wouldn't go through. And eventually you can wiggle it through and then you just need to put like the uh, the snap back on it and that's where that little uh, disc of metal comes in that just kind of like sits there for the uh, for the back of the snap to go on and this is it's quite therapeutic doing this it's actually really good fun putting these on that's so satisfying I cannot tell you how satisfying that is so it comes together pretty quickly most of this so it's just a case of making sure I get it to the edges really tight so I've decided to put the, uh, the other studs in now so I can get those measurements perfect. As you can see I really am trying to get the tightness there just so it, it hangs really nicely. Now it's a case of just marking that, that position and putting another stud in place. So I'm still using the old hammer method, but my pro tip will come up soon. So already it's looking um, pretty good, I'm sort of like powering on through the project. So I've got these corners and they're a bit unruly unfortunately. So. Yeah, I think they're going to be, they're not ideal as they are right now, so I've decided I'm going to have to take the corners off. Um, my wife's got a new sewing machine, so uh, she's like just practicing sewing at the moment, so I said, hey, this is a good project to get started with, so I just need the corner taking off, because I want it to tuck in there really nice and tight. So we take it inside and chop the corners off, and Becky happily sews away. Can't see her face, but... She's really enjoying this. 
So with all the corners all nicely sewn up, it's time to put it back in and get tucking round that last bit. So I'm going to get it tucked in really tight so I've got a stud placed right underneath that woodwork. Now here's the tip for the hole drill, is you put it in a drill and this makes it so much easier. You can't use a drill because it will just wreck the fabric but it's as simple as just drilling out the hole. Now that just takes seconds compared to before. So we'll go ahead and put some more studs in now. Um, I can screw directly into this plastic fascia because it works really well, nice and strong. So I've put a couple more in there now. As you can see, it's following the line of the van pretty well. I do the same for the other side. So the screen is now done and I think it looks pretty good. It's hugging the side of the van really nicely. If you used to do it yourself, you just need to find places to put those studs. Um, you can get ones, you can put them in with rivets, so that's another idea there. Uh, from the other side, now this is really good, can't see back at all. So if I want to do like a stealth camp or something like that, then this is going to be the perfect thing to do. You don't want to be getting a big exterior windscreen cover out if you're going to do that. So this is going to be perfect for something like that. Yeah, I think it's, it's, this is going to be ideal. Now another idea that I had from the beginning of this, which is why I didn't want the curtain actually on rails, was I want to be able to use the curtain in a different way every now and then. So I've put some studs about halfway down the van, and this is going to create a little privacy screen kind of halfway down. So if we kind of want to stop on the way somewhere with a toilet, and we just need a little bit of privacy, we can just whack that up. If you're at the beach, maybe you want to get changed, make a little changing room, then this is going to be ideal for that. We often try and put this curtain up to do that same kind of thing, which is kind of what made me think of this. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Uh, just time to fold it away and put it in its little home. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please give it a like and if you like the content, maybe subscribe to the channel because I've always got videos coming out. So I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.